Hey guys, Rolling Mango here with uh, Planet Side 2. I'm gonna start a series out of Planet Side 2, making much more like tips and tricks on how to get the game to how to be better at the game, I guess. I'm gonna be learning along with you, I'm sure as hell I'll tell you that. For this video, I'm gonna be telling you how to get better FPS in Planet Side 2, because we all got, God, we all know that this game is not optimized for, especially AMD systems, that's what I'm on. I have horrible FPS problems, or I had horrible FPS problems, mostly they're fixed. Sorry about the gameplay, not really much action going on. I'm just gonna walk on the warp gate while I talk. I might just stand here for a second. Okay, um, one of the major tips I can give for... I, well, I wouldn't say I would give this major tip. The major tip that's given by most people is unparking your cores and your CPU. We all probably have multi-core CPUs now, because it's like a modern thing to have now, multi-cores. But, uh, by default, your, your uh, core will, your processor, will park cores of its multi-core processor. I don't know why I'm repeating that. It sounds kind of weird, but uh, it parks them and it makes them basically not work as hard as the other cores. This, however, can be adjusted using a software that every all the links that I'll be talking about will be down below in the description. Everything you need to know will be down there. Uh, let's see. Unparking your cores when you uh, the software can be down below. Like I said, you download it, install it, run it, it detects your cores, then unparks them. Like you press a button, it unparks them. When you unpark them, uh, it makes all of your processors, all of your, process, all of your cores and your processor work together at once, and it basically optimizes it. However, for laptops and desktops, this produces more heat. It's for desktops, you probably won't even notice it. it I mean, most air coolers should be able to handle it. And then for laptops, you're going to get a little bit more hot. If you notice, I would recommend getting like a, a table, a cooling table to put it on. Not really needed, but I'm a cool freak. Like I love cooling. Uh, next thing you can do is require some basic file knowledge going through files. Uh, you're going to go to your Planet Side 2 folder. It's trying to steam it in your steam folder. There's common stuff in this Planet Side 2. Scroll down until you find a file called user options.ini. I believe it's an INI file. Uh, open that up. It should launch in notepad and or whatever you have. It opens up usual to read it, it should not be legible. You're going to add the word GPU physics equals zero into their, uh, um, well, I'll put in a more exact tutorial like I found on Reddit in there. It'll tell you exactly where to place it if you're kind of worried about that. I'll try and show you two of them, like, in text. And this really helps out AMD boys, or across AMD systems, because, uh, it disables one of the things that NVIDIA has and AMD does it. I noticed about a 10 FPS gain from doing it. Uh, the next thing you can do is update your drivers. Uh, I don't know about NVIDIA, but it's always good to have the most updated drivers. Invi uh, AMD has a beta driver out currently that is for Planet Side 2 Crossfire support. And you, it, should, it should help even if you don't have Crossfire, because any optimization is good. Uh, just update your drivers, that should give you a few more FPS better increase. Uh, overclocking. This game is very CPU based. Like it doesn't really use your optimal your graphics card to the best that it can be used. Having a better CPU, fast CPU, always helps in this game. Uh, I started at a 3.1 gigahertz processor, 8 cores, AMD FX uh, 8120. Uh, overclocked it to 3.8 DF yeah, recently, and I definitely noticed increased loading speed and some FPS gain. Uh, next thing you can do is another thing in the INI files. You go into your INI files and you check out render distance. Render distance by default is set to either 999, like infinite basically, or negative 1.000. Both of these mean infinite. Now, why on earth the developers decided to make the get your computer have to render the entire world even if you can't see it is beyond me. But if you have a low end computer, you're going to set that down. You're going to plug in a thousand or a thousand five hundred. A thousand, if you really have a low-end computer and you're having FPS, really big issues. I recommend a thousand. A thousand five hundred is a little bit more. You'll be able to see more things at a distance. That's like everything here is about a thousand five hundred. However, people I saw on Reddit that were doing this said uh, that you can't see the ground when you're uh, parachuting in or hot dropping. Uh, I threw mine up to three thousand. So I mean, I have a high-end computer. It should have a problem with it. I also know, okay, my average FPS right now is 40 to 50 or 60-ish. I say 40, 50, or 60 because 
50 to 60 is about average in uh, areas like this and small battles, but biolabs? Fuck. <laughs> 40-ish. Uh, then the next thing you can do, this is a highly recommended thing by me, because I just did it and boom, I automatically saw the difference. Uh, it's recommended INI settings. Uh, send in the user options once again. I will have a link to the top where I found this, and I will have the exact INI settings that you want to put in there. Don't copy and paste, I recommend just side by side looking at the two and changing your numbers. Uh, and by doing this, I like this does not look that bad. This is like basically max quality uh, looking. Like I haven't really done a side by side comparison, but this looks pretty damn good to me. Uh, what you do is you just change all your 99 files to the exact what it's preset. Uh, some fours, some threes, some ones, some zeros in there, and. I immediately went from 40 FPS to 60. It's a pretty damn big improvement. Uh, that's basically all I have right now. I'm sure the biggest thing that we're all going to have to do is wait, waiting for the next patch to increase optimization on systems and that beta driver to go actually at, like launch from AMD. That'll help a lot. Uh, hope this guy helps helps you guys out figuring out what, how to get this game to run at 60 frames per second or as high as you possibly can on your lower end machines. Uh, by the way, with the recommended settings, I wouldn't recommend doing that on a low end machine because that's these. Are, this is still high quality. This is for high end machines. Like it's a setting that you just set to, and it helps a lot. Uh, hope all of this helps you guys. If you have any problems doing this or have any more specific questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. I'll definitely be. Ch I always check out my video comments. Uh, I will be responding to you, helping you guys every step of the way. I'm kind of nervous about doing it. I can tell you what the problems could be that occur, or how to fix it. You do fuck up something. Uh, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Be sure to leave a comment. It's helped you. Just spread the word to anybody that you need help with, or you having the same problem. I'll see you guys later. Rolling Mango out.